In this new tutorial from VideoProc, I'm gonna show you five easy ways that you can send large video files through email. So in what kind of cases might you need to send a long or large video file? Or perhaps if you need to send it for work purposes, or maybe you have a personal video that you wanna share with family members, but you don't feel comfortable posting it on social media sites. These are some easy and quick options that you can use in order to email those video files to whoever you need to send them to. Keep in mind that VideoProc uploads useful video tutorials every Friday. So if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video. So now let's get to our first option. Option number one is to use a site like wetransfer.com. This site allows you to send video files up to two gigabytes in size at no cost. You will need to set up a free account with them. To use their service, it's very simple. You just log into your account, you click on transfers at the top, and you fill out the form and upload your video file. It will then transfer the video to the recipient where they'll have seven days to download that video file before it gets automatically deleted. Option number two is to use Google Drive. To send the file through Google Drive, you just need to log into your account Click the big plus button that says new and select the file upload. You then upload the video and you'll have two options after that to either send the video file to an email address you specify or to copy the link code which you can then insert into an email for the recipient to click and just download the file. Now with the free option for Google Drive you have to be mindful of the size of your video file because you're only given a certain amount of space with the free account. Free accounts receive 15 gigabytes but if you have a Gmail account that will also be using up that disk space as well. Option number three is to use Dropbox. Now with the free account, you'll have up to two gigabytes of storage space. So to send the video file through their online portal, you just log into your account and you can either drop your file onto the page or you can click the upload files button to add your video file to your Dropbox. And then you can send the link to download that file by clicking on copy link and inserting that URL in an email. The fourth option is to use Microsoft OneDrive to send your video file. OneDrive will give you five gigabytes of storage space with their free account. Using OneDrive is very similar to Dropbox. You just click on the upload button at the top, select the video file and upload it. After that, you can click the three dots icon and select copy link to get the URL that you'll need to insert into your email so that the recipient can download the video file. And the fifth and last option is to use video software to send the video file. I plan on using Video Pro Converter. It's an all-in-one video toolbox that includes a video compressor. Just head to the video link in the description below to download, install, and run Video Pro Converter. So the way to send large video files through email using Video Pro Converter is to use this tool to compress your video file to a small size so that you can send the videos by attaching them directly to any email account. Here's five easy ways that Video Pro Converter can compress your video file by up to 90%. The first way is by selecting a higher compression output format. Two is adjusting the video parameters of your video. Three is to trim the video length. Four is to split the video into segments. And then five is to crop the video frame size. Compared to other one-click compressors, the specialty of Video Proc is that users can define what they want to compress and they're allowed to adjust all settings before compression. If you need a video compressor like this, don't hesitate to try out Video Proc Converter. For a more detailed how-to tutorial on using these compression settings in Video Proc Converter, check out this video. I hope these tips were helpful to you. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and we'll see you in the next video.